Eiffel TV MTK Global Women got the destroyer Connor Ben after his brutal first round KO win today. Firstly, congratulations on the win. Talk, talk me through it a little bit. Um, I don't know, it was um, unexpected. I thought it was going to go the distance. Um, you know, he's fought the similar calibre people I've fought, and um, you know, he looks decent, so he, could, he can box from what I've seen. You know, but I was just the sharper guy on the night, and it just, I don't know, it just, just happens, isn't it? Near punch perfect finish from yourself. I right. can't remember. Complete blow. I really, I really can't. No, I really do. I can't. I get out of the ring and I cannot remember what I threw. It just all comes in the mind. It's moment. on instinct. Yeah, it just comes like, I can't tell you what I threw. Mm. I really can't. <laughs> We're moving to 9 and 0 now. Would you yourself like an active step up in opposition? I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'll fight whoever, do you know what I mean? It's more my trainers and my managers um, and my promoters who pick who I fight because at the end of the day I'm only 20 and mm. it's a long journey so I need as many learning fights as possible before I can actually step up and you know if I rush myself it can all go pear shaped simply due to my amateur experience. So I'm going to take my time and enjoy my career, enjoy the youthfulness of my career and, and when I'm ready to fight fully pledged grown men and when I'm ready to fight for titles and stay on the rise and not come after come back down. That's when I fight for titles. It's when I can keep going, mm -hmm. not after fight for titles, then come back down and fight, keep it flowing. Devil's advocate here. You show great killer instinct, but there'll be a part of me that asks, how much do you learn from blowing out these kids in one um, round? Do you know what? I don't think you really learn much from it, to be honest. Um, but you know, you, you just got to be careful who I'm in who I'm in with, you know what I mean? You can't have so for a 20, 20 year old to fight someone who's 28, got that muscle maturity and um, you know, he's had a good record as critics, just not the way you learn, especially with no amateur experience. Yeah, fair enough, I've boxed on the GB squad and you know, I had 80 fights, 90 fights, know what I'm doing now to handle the nerves, now to handle the public, fair enough. I'm new to all of this, you know, so, it's, so far it's going so good. When AJ first turned over, he got criticised for the people he fought, now look at him. You know, so it's all, um, I'll leave it with my trainer, my promoter, they know what they're doing. What's the plan for the destroyer? What's in the bag? New when? York, November the 11th. Wow. Oh, here I come. First first match from UK fire to fire there. It's an absolute blessing and, you know, onwards and upwards. We'll be out there for, for that show, so it'll be interesting to see how you get on. And, yeah, it's good to see you sort of making that transition. You've, you've improved so much in the time that you've been at Sims' gym. So I'd be interested to see how much you improve in the next 12 months. It's all about improving, you know, every fight's an improvement and that's what it's about, it's about improving. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't have done, performed the way I would in my second fight like this. Probably similar opponents, maybe better, but it's about how you execute your finish, how tidy you look, how neat you look. You know, so it'll all come together. When it, it will come, the time will come when it, I fight champions. The time will come when I fight the best. The time will come. I mean, it's about learning and growing and getting that, that you know, that sexy, you know, physique, you know, that, that man physique, get that vascular look with the veins popping and everything, you know, that, at the moment I'm still holding a bit of puppy fat. <laughs> Have you spoke to your dad about your performance tonight? Has he, has he called you? Yet. Is he saying anything? No, no, I'll give him a call as soon as I leave. You're becoming your own man, you're running your own race, it must feel good to sort of be stepping out of the shadow of your, man's, your old man's reputation a little bit. Yeah, definitely, I mean, do you know what, I'm, I'm just... I don't know, it's all, it's all like a dream, it's like, I got in the ring and I was so chilled backstage, I didn't even know, I was just so chilled, it was, um, I thought, is this right, should I feel this way? Like, I was chilled but I was nervous, I was nervous because I was so chilled, and I didn't know if that was the right feeling to have, but clearly it is. Well, it was, whatever you're doing is working, keep on it, I expect you'll be back in the gym next week? Yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, have a few curries. <laughs> and then I'm back in the gym. Enjoy your moment, Connor Ben. Thank you very much for joining us on TV. Great pleasure to get you on the channel. See you soon. Thank you. Good seeing you again, mate. Take care, mate.